me, I am a positive chappy today. Just loving these releases. Okay, new makeup releases. Where is this journey gonna take us today? I don't know. I haven't had a proper detailed look at what there is new going on. So it's gonna be a very much first reaction with you guys. Will I love it? Will I wanna buy it? Will I hate it? Will I trash talk it? Potentially, probably, maybe, who knows? Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, before we do, let's go ahead and do the YouTube-y things. You can give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share it around the socials, all of those good things. Let's get to a thousand. We can freaking do it. And, uh, yeah, now let's just get started. If you are interested in this makeup look, by the way, it'll be up after this video. As you can tell, it's a very wearable work ready. I'm, I'm kidding, it's not. I just sat down and played with some makeup, so yeah. Anyway, that'll be up after this one. Make sure you subscribed so you don't miss out. First up on the new makeup release train, of course, of course, uh, Colourpop. Because it is not a new makeup release video of Colourpop, doesn't feature 50 million times. Now, this is, I think this has just been released, like, I'm filming this on Sunday the 13th, so it only got released today from what I can see, and this is the Hello Kitty collection. So Colourpop is really doing the rounds on all of these kind of, like, cutesy collaborations. So up is Col uh, Hello Kitty. Now, we've got four eyeshadow quads from the looks of it, like a pink one, a blue one, an orangey one, and a yellow one. And then there looks like there's two blushes, a lip scrub, and then a glowing lip balm set. So that's kind of cute. I think actually when you when you look at the big picture of this, you're like, okay, yeah, mm, I guess if you're a super Hello Kitty fan, you would really like this. But like first when I look at this, I'm like, oh, it's a bit kitty-like. But when you look at the eyeshadow quads like up close, they're kind of pretty. Like the imprinting and stuff on them look really pretty. Even the shadows themselves, like they, they look pretty. Like they really, really do look really nice. Like even that pink one, I'm like, that actually looks stunning. So pretty. Um... The blushes are kind of, they, I don't understand, they kind of keep releasing the same tones of blushes with these collections. I'm not sure, maybe I'm wrong about that, but yeah, they don't look interesting to me. The lip balm set though, I'm into the lip balm set. Now, I'm not a Hello Kitty, not, not, I'm not a Hello Kitty fan, but I'm not a Hello Kitty hater either. I just am indifferent about it. So I wouldn't go out and purchase this because of Hello Kitty if it were me, but I would purchase the lip balm set because I love a lip balm and I love the look of those tones. So that's calling my name. And uh, I nearly, nearly would pick up one of these quads, maybe the yellow one or the pink one. I'm not going to because I just, I have enough makeup right now and there's other things on my wish list. But I'm telling you, this is cute enough to nearly make me pull the trigger on a Colourpop collection. So there you go. I, was, I initially looked at this and thought, oh yeah, I'm going to absolutely hate this and read it to filth. But there you go. Don't judge a book by its cover. Next up is Norvina. She has returned. I didn't even know she went away, but there you go, she returned. Uh, she has released Norvina Volume 5, the eyeshadow palettes. There is already four. I actually have number three, The I think it's number three, the orange one. I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely really like that palette. Um, ABH has kind of gone through a bit of a roller coaster this last year between its kind of, let's call it scandals and also kind of the miserable selection of products that they've been releasing. A little bit harsh. A little bit harsh. Um, but I just, apart from the brow freeze, I haven't really seen ABH release a product that I was genuinely interested in. Um, so, and she's also released three lip balms as well with this palette, which I don't know, does anyone else find that random? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, this palette looks really, really, really pretty. I wish that she did something other than purple. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I know that the purples in here are a little bit different to the other palettes. The shimmers in here look absolutely beautiful. Um, but I wish that she did something other than purple because I feel like Norvina does consistently seem to be releasing, especially in these big ones, like the same kind of thing. Like obviously there's the um, orange one and the blue one, but then I feel like all the others are purple. Like three of them are almost like purple. 
I get it, it's her favorite color and that's amazing, but I just wish that maybe she did something a little bit different or maybe even not released this particular like style again, like changed it up again, I don't know. I do think this is really pretty though. It is a pro pigment palette and I don't genuinely usually love the pigment formula from her. However, this is getting really, really good reviews. So it's not something that I'm gonna pay full price for. If I saw it like 50% off, I might pick it up to just try it out because I do like a couple of the colors in here, but yeah, it's not fully my jam, but the reviews are like almost making me interested. I'm not going to lie. Okay, this one. Uh, so this is Michaela J Makeup Cross Glam Light. I am interested in this. First of all, the packaging is adorable. It's not the normal style. This whole thing is not normally what I would go for. Uh, but the shades, the shades in this palette look amazing. They look amazing. Like, congratulations to her, first of all. She's just phenomenal. If you don't follow her, um, go check her out. She's more so a TikToker, I believe. And I don't really do the whole TikTok thing, so I don't follow her over there. But I have watched, like, I've seen a couple of things around this release. And she seems like an absolute sweetheart. But the shades in this palette make me just want to purchase it. And I probably will if I can get my hands on it. It looks really, really nice. Um, I... I'm actually, and the other reason why I'm thinking I'm going to pick this palette up is because a lot of these shades in this palette that I kind of have are in my Morphe palettes and I no longer support Morphe. I don't want anything to do with Morphe anymore. They've just, there's just too many lines. Like I'm just, I just can't do it anymore and their quality isn't consistent enough. I don't know. I don't want to go down the whole Morphe train, but I've just really made a really conscious effort to not even, I don't want anything to do with Morphe anymore. But a lot of my colourful kind of eyeshadow palettes are my Morphe palettes. So I am looking for something that's going to kind of almost be a bit of a one and done to replace them. And I really feel like this Glam White palette is going to be that and probably a better quality. So I'm going to probably pick this up if I can get my hands on it. I think the Glam Raider website in Australia will stock it. And if they do, and if I can grab it before it sells out, I'm going to because it looks so pretty. KKW Beauty has released the camo collection. And I gotta admit, I went on and I was like filling up my cart with this eyeshadow palette because I like it. Like, <laughs> I do. It's so basic, but I'm into it. <laughs> I love the outer packaging. I really, really do. I wish... I was like, I wish KKW was like, oh, she looks cool. Let me send her some PR because this PR package is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. I really, really like this whole thing. I think the highlighters look really pretty. The eye crayon things, they're just not my jam. I just wouldn't use them. I'm like, uh, mm, mm, no. Um, the lip colors, same thing. I can take them or leave them, but I really do like the look of this eyeshadow palette. It is something that I really would wear on the everyday. These kinds of tones are my jam. I really, really like it. And I, I personally really like the KKW eyeshadow formula. I mean, granted, I only have the KKW Cross Mario, like the original eyeshadow palette. I genuinely really, really love that eyeshadow palette. So I would be super interested in this. But I just personally think $52 for an eyeshadow palette from KKW Beauty is too expensive. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for a sale and hope for a sale before I pick this up. But I wouldn't be surprised if one day down the track I did pick this palette up because I do quite like it. But also I went on to her website to look at this a couple of hours after. No, it was like eight hours after she launched it and everything was still available. So is the KKW and Kylie Cosmetics hype gone now? Like, do people not care? Or is it because Kim usually launches the same thing over and over again? This is a little bit different from her, from her granted. I'm saying a little bit, not a lot. But um, yeah, like what's your guys' thoughts on the whole KKW beauty thing? Are, they, are you into it? Are you like, who? Don't care. Move on. Anyway. Or if you really, really, really want a review on this eyeshadow palette and this kind of collection, let me know. Because I, if enough of you was like, you should review it, I would, I would probably get it. Because um, then I would have an excuse. <laughs> okay, so Artist Couture has released, I guess this is probably more so like their summer collection. It's called the Supreme Bronze Collection. And it is a Supreme Bronze eyeshadow palette and then the Supreme Glow head to toe perfection oil. So the palette is $42 and then the oil is $45. Um, and the oil says give your, gives your skin and hair glow. Okay. So you can use, it's a multi-use oil packed with vitamin E and sunflower seed oil provides intense hydration, 
um, blah, blah, blah. So you can use it on your hair and stuff. Right. Fascinating. Okay. Um, how do I feel about the eyeshadow palette? I am bored just looking at it. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, I like their original one better. Like, you know how they have that neutral one? I'll put a picture of it up here if I can find one. I like that better. This one for me, I'm probably, I'm just the wrong person to ask about these kinds of tones. Because even though I'm a basic biatch, I don't like these kinds of, like, see the gilded shade, like the two middle shades and the actually even tantalized one next to it. They're too dark for me on the everyday. Like I wouldn't wear that on the everyday. I kind of like a lighter one. And then I don't love a lot of gold shades. I don't know what it is. I just don't really feel like I am gravitate towards a lot of gold shades or if they suit me. I don't know what it is. So I wouldn't really, like if I had this in my collection, I wouldn't use it a lot. So for me, it's just like, meh, meh. But I can see like the vibe of the collection. Like, you know, it's nice if, if you're into those tones, I think that, you know, you would really, really like this palette. The oil looks cool though. It's probably too dark for someone. Look, listen, listen, I barely leave my house. It is winter time here, but even in the summertime, I don't go to the beach and all that jazz. Like I'm just I'm not an outdoorsy person. Okay. I like to go get pampered in a spa or something. I like to go shopping. I like to lunch, but I'm not a massive outdoorsy person. <laughs> Okay, so like the oils and all that kind of stuff, I'm not showing off a lot of skin at the best of times to really wear them, all right? The Fenty Body Sauce, which I've got on right now, that's about as glowy as I'm going to get. But <laughs> I think if you are someone that shows a lot of skin and like really wants that skin glow, then it looks beautiful and you do you. All right, this one, I am actually excited for this. This is the Say, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. Has a balmy texture and velvety finish that allows for seamless buildable color with a formula that is packed with ingredients like organic colloidal oatmeal to moisturize, silica grapeseed oil, and elderberry extract to nourish and visibly balance the skin. Uh, they have four shades. Uh, will the shades probably cater to absolutely everyone? Probably not, but at the same time, at least it's not four shades of the exact same light skin tone. So I do like that it is very clear, you know, um, progression there. I really, 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 really like the look of this. I really want to try say it's harder to get. I, I have to actually figure out how I can get this brand in Australia. Pretty sure I can order it off Cult Beauty or something like that. Maybe their website, but I need to investigate it more when I have a little bit more money to do that. I want to try this. I'm all about cream bronzers, cream contours. I freaking love them. I just, I'm a bronzer fiend. Bronzer fiend. And I, uh, I really like this and I really, really want to try it. So there's just never too much in my opinion. There's just never too many. There just is. God, look at me. I am a positive chappy today. Just loving these releases. <laughs> and the tides turn. So Colourpop again. Colourpop released this vibrant sun, what is it called? Neon Electric Collection. I don't know who at Colourpop was like, oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. Neon collection, neon for summer. The kids are loving the neon. Let's just get neon packaging or make it a neat, call it the neon collection. And then let's put one shade of neon in the eyeshadow palette. Just one though. Don't get crazy, just one. And that's, and everybody, kids will love it. They'll eat it up. Now, look, I could be freaking wrong. Maybe this collection sold out. I haven't gone on and had a look. I don't even know if it's released. Is it? Let me have a look. Uh, it doesn't say. So I don't know. But why? Like, this is all of their eyeshadows that they keep freaking releasing with a pop of color. So instead, it's like the, you know, when you watch Teresa is Dead, like makeup bingo, and one of the squares is always neutral ass palette with a pop of blue. This is exactly it, but with a pop of neon. Like, if you're gonna release the neon electric collection for summer, wouldn't you make the eyeshadow palettes neon or at least have two or three neon shades with a couple of neutrals? Because these are actually pretty. Like, they're pretty. The packaging is perfection, but like, I don't need all these neutral as stupid colors with these little pops. Like I want, I almost want like these three neon colors in one palette with like two neutrals or something like that. You know what I mean? Like they really could have done something with this freaking collection and this is what they produce. Am I just me? Just me. Is it just me? I want to know because I'm sad. This was a ColourPop launch I could have got behind and then they effed it up. Well, for me anyway, in my opinion, but yeah. Anyway, you let me know. 
Melt Cosmetics released another eyeshadow palette as well called the Brunette palette. It is already released and I know in Australian dollars it's like 67 Australian dollars so I don't know what that is um, in the US like conversion rate, sorry. I was going to pick this up because I've never tried Melt Cosmetics and Beauty Bay has like 20% off their entire website right now and it's $67 so I was like oh yeah this could work. Um, but then I looked at it and it's really just like a really, really, and look, I could be wrong, it could be the photos, but it just seems like a really, really pale neutral palette with like two kind of goldy or three goldy shimmer shades. Like I looked at it and I looked at it and I objectively was like, I really don't need this. Like generally if I pick up new neutral palettes nowadays, I p try and pick up something that's like a little bit different to something that's already in my collection. So maybe the neutrals like have a slightly different tone or there's like a different shimmer shade or I think the formula is revolutionary or something. I don't know. I just can't justify it with this. Like it's just too basic, almost too basic. Is that a thing? I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know your guys' thoughts. But I just thought I would be picking this up for the sake of it and not... I, I just feel like I wouldn't really... I mean, I'd probably use it, but I have all of these shades in my collection. So I'd either use this or the shades that I already own in my collection would just sit there while I use this. You know what I mean? Like, I just, it, I just didn't need it. So I skipped it, is what I'm trying to say. YSL has released their new Le Smoky Eye collection, and it is... The Iconic Clutch Eyeshadow Palettes, Eyeliners, Mascaras, and Single Shadows. Look. Mm, I'd need to watch a video from Michelle Wong <laughs> to decide whether or not... No, actually, I don't need to watch a video from her. I'm not going to buy this. These are like 180 Australian dollars, these palettes, if not a little bit more than that, I think. And I get it because it's like that clutch thing. I don't need this. These, this color scheme is so boring. It's just very muted. I know that a lot of luxury eyeshadows from... Look, here we go. Here we go. I have come to realize because I like luxury makeup, but I've definitely with eyeshadow palettes leaned more towards like your kind of popular mainstream, like your Pat McGrath's, your Natasha Denona's, all of like, you know, the YouTube-y kind of popular stuff. And then now I'm starting to dip my toes in like the luxury side of YouTube makeup. So watching like Chanel and Dior and all those kinds of things. And I'm starting to learn that these kind of more luxury high-end brands, their eyeshadow palettes and stuff aren't necessarily like bam, like pigment and like these color schemes because they're really designed for like a more natural wash of color and more everyday makeup. So I think that's really good. But in saying that, for something that's going to cost me about 200 Australian dollars, if not more, I'm pretty sure these are more than that in Australian. It's just too boring for me. It's just a little bit too boring for me. So I am, that's a long way of me saying, no, I'm not going to buy this. Um, also single shadows. I mean, are we going back to single shadows? Do people like that? I just can't, I don't like a single shadow. I like an eyeshadow palette with at least eight to 10 shades minimum in it. I'm not even a massive fan of the quad. I like options, okay? I don't know how I'm gonna feel on the day. I want options. I know that that is not the popular opinion of the moment. I know people are really liking smaller eyeshadows and everything at the moment, but it's not for me. Anyway, that's why I sell. Lime Crime has released Sunkissed Glimmering Skin Sticks. So they're for highlighting, glimmer, bronze, or blushed looks. So I guess they have like kind of one for every occasion. They definitely don't go dark enough if they're trying to say these are also bronzes, etc. So the shade range definitely needs work. But if they kind of called these just highlighters, they could have probably gotten away with the uh, shade range is what I'm trying to spit out there. Um... I don't know. I don't think I would even like this. The what I don't know what it is about these kind of like stick things like this, but they make me feel like they're like dry and they wouldn't like go on the skin lovely. Now that's a complete and utter like judgment. <laughs> I'm just plain old judging the look of it without actually knowing. They could actually be really, really lovely products, but they just I just don't look at this and be like, I want that. You know? I just look at this and I'm like, meh. Dominic Cosmetics actually has released Silk Tone Cream Blushes. They look similar to her highlighter formula that she released. I wouldn't mind trying one of these. However, I would like... <laughs> 
speaking from a combination oily skin perspective, if companies when they release cream blushes would be able to include in their description if the cream blush would work well over powder or not. I would personally like that because you know Patrick Ta when he does his products, he talks about how his cream products, like he mentions that they work well over powder and I appreciate that because I know that when I'm going to purchase one of his products, it's going to work well over powder, which is how I like to use it because I have to set my face with powder. I don't have this luxury, like this option of these dry skin, beautiful girls that can just wear a skin tint and then put their like serum blush on and off they go for the rest of the day like I have to set my face otherwise my makeup is literally dripping down it by the end of it you know what I mean so what a picture what a picture you're welcome so I would appreciate it if when people talked about their their cream products if they talked about whether or not like blushes and highlighters more so can they go over powder or not because this formula to me doesn't look like it will go over powder correctly not correctly but well and I'd like to know if I'm correct in that assumption. Maybe I could just watch her video, but here we are. Anyway, I don't know if I talked about this in my last one of these or not, because I'm not sure if it was out then, but Valentino has released their makeup line. You can only get it at Selfridges at the moment from what I know. I, th I don't know, no. It's just a flat out no from me. I don't like the packaging. I know Valentino is famous for their red dresses, so I get that, but I wish that they didn't make it all red, but that's just a personal preference. Like, I think that's just like a color personal preference to me. It just doesn't look luxury feeling. And yeah, I don't know. There's just the whole vibe of this makeup line doesn't speak to me at all, at all. So. Is that and then I haven't really talked about the makeup by Mario stuff because um, I have ordered it so makeup by Mario released cream blushes contour sticks bronzers highlighters and actual powder blushes and as soon as he released this I was like this whole line is for me like it just looks absolutely beautiful I it it was my vibe it was my vibe my vibe so I went on and placed an order. It should get here sometime this week. So keep an eye out for that review. But I'm very, very excited to try it. I haven't liked, I love Makeup by Mario, but I haven't liked anything really that he's released enough yet to purchase it. So I'm super excited that he's dropped this and I now get to try his brand. I'm pumped. All right, that is it, you guys. Uh, I think uh, I think I trash talked that enough, although there was a lot of releases that I actually liked this time, so happy days. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. What are you picking up? What are you not picking up? Is there any that you would like to see actual reviews on? I'm happy to do that for you guys, but yeah, just let me know. All right, let's wrap this up. If you enjoyed the video up until this point, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're watching till this point, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.